Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I mean, these guys right here, man, uh, history is in Dallas, Texas. Right, man. Right. So, so what part of Dallas are you from, uh, you? South Dallas and West Dallas. You from South Dallas and West Dallas? Yeah, I grew up in both places. South Dallas and West Dallas. Yes. But your mama lived in one and your daddy lived in the other well, one? Well, granny lived, mama lived in the projects, and then we moved to South Dallas shortly after. So, well, you, you know, in Fish Trap or, or Rupert Circle? Apple what? Grove, Rupert and Dale High. Rupert, oh yeah, Rupert and Dale High. Mm -hmm. So, so, so you, you, you uh, come up as a young man, uh, uh, Miss Jackie Lee Wheeler, man, doing your thing, huh? Yeah, doing my thing. End up getting in different other things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let let's let's be real with the people. So so you guys, uh, uh I know both of y'all have, have been through a lot. So right. when I met this guy right here, David, man, David and me, we we chopped it up. David said he been through a heck of a lot, you yes, know. Sir. So what what just just give me a just how was it coming up in Dallas, uh, growing up in Dallas, Texas, well, early on. Early, well, you know, at the age of nine. Got put out the house. I didn't understand that. But at nine? Nine years old. What did you do? I didn't understand that myself. You understand know me? But I went to the streets. Hold on. Were you living with your mom and dad at the time? Or just? My mama at the time. So she put you out? Yes. Were you the only child? No, about 12 of us. You Were you the oldest? Uh, no, the oldest. The oldest one had passed away. And that made me the oldest. Okay, okay. So at nine years old, she put you out, yeah. and you still don't remember what it was? No, but I know that it wounded me. I know that much. Mm. Caused me to do other things that I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. Did she ever try to get you to come back home even after that? Because sometimes women tend to do things out of impulse and anger. Yes, but it's how she done it. Told my uncle I ran out when she knew I didn't. Mm. He beat me. Oh, he did? Wow, so he beat you. And and so growing up as a young kid like that, and being put out, what did you do? What did you result to? Well, uh, different things, drugs that uh, I guess medicating what was going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause this was a, but this would have had to be the what? What was these? The seventies or the sixties? It was the seventies. I didn't know what weed was, so I had the heavy drug, heroin. Okay. Cocaine. How old was you when you got in the heroin? Uh, 15. 15. 15. 15. I said, let me see. I had to be about, yeah, 15. You were taking it or you were selling it? No, you were shooting it. Shooting oh, okay. the heroin at 15 years old. And, and, and so you were shooting it because that was your way out. That was your way to get away from what the situation happening. mentally. Yes. And the streets introduced it to you. I went to the street, so that's what I learned, the street. So you lived, um, when she put you out at nine, you lived on the streets or you lived with friends or who did you move in with? Well, I, I live in the empty buildings. Yeah. Uh, sometimes friends and folks let me uh, over their house. Yeah. Okay. Get in some tissue. Mm-hmm. To take a break for a second. Just get him, get him some. It's all right, brother. But that, you know, the, the, when you go back to those places where where you where, where all these incidents happen, it's a cleansing point, really. To be honest with you, oh, I realized it one day when we was driving. I was trying to steal a purse, and uh, we had already stole a couple of par cartons of cools because they had a little cigarette scam. I'm no big timer. I didn't do anything major. But then I met my fault partner, 24 years old, and ex con on parole, psych patient, Robert James Bailey. Robert James Bailey. Yeah. And uh, he told me he know this old man that's got some money, just got a paycheck. So I come up with an idea as to how to rob him. And uh, he goes in. And then I knock on the door. He hits him in the head. Wow. And uh, we, uh, it's all right. It's all right. I did some pretty bad shit to that poor old man. Wow. And uh, what did you guys do? 
What didn't we do? I raped him? No. What did you do to him? But he's still living, right? I don't know. I I, I don't honestly know. He was 59, hun, and I, I just... Y'all beat him uh, up pretty bad. Yeah, I, I sprayed him in the eyes with Lysol Arm & Hammer spray at first, and my fall partner was punching on him. And after hitting him in the back of the head with a Coke bottle, uh, tied him up, put him on the bed, and uh, I hit him again in the back of the head, trying to knock him out. And I told my fall partner to watch him. I went in and started pocketing stuff. Anything I touched, I put in my pockets. I left no fingerprints. And uh, I seen a fireplace poker. I picked it up and I grabbed it by the hook. And I went in and I hit him 32 times in the back of the head. Wow. This by the grace of God. 32 times. And I don't believe it was for him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.